You know, yeah. I, 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 yeah, no matter, they, them seeing me, they must laugh. And you've got these aliens behind, you know, blah, 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 and they must be just, yeah, I mean, laugh, just laughing their big ears off. I've been, uh, we, there's lots of research material around. I mean, I've been studying the UFO phenomena for about 24 years, and there isn't many cases of hostility. You know, it, it doesn't seem to be that uh, that type of interaction taking place. However, there are a number of reports from military establishments that when they've got too close to these objects, that they've had um, interference in their aircraft, such as electrical phenomena, you know, such as mm. things failing to work properly. Uh, and that's a sort of stay away sort of thing because it gets a bit different. It goes right back to the Captain Mantell incident where he said he was chasing a UFO and of course they wrote it up as he was chasing Venus. I mean, this is one of the best captains that they had at the time in the P-51D Mustang. Mm. And of course he plummeted to his death and uh, there was a big cover up over it. And uh, apparently uh, people weren't even allowed to see the body and his family. And, and of course um, it was wrote up later that it was a, due to this UFO incident. He was chasing this, this object at high altitude. So he actually thinks that, that, that this specific thing, you know, or potentially could just shut down every single system he had and... It tends, to be, to, it tends to be one of the, the most common things reported, yeah. I mean, there's, in other countries like Belgium, and um, they're releasing a lot of their information, the military now. They have a slightly different stance there, government. And, uh, and they've come clean regarding the objects that they've chased. And, they, and they're, they're clearly not theirs. Um, but then you've got to also consider a, the, the fact that there are exotic aircraft manufactured. I mean, uh, I've got a book at home which shows the stealth fighter, the, uh, which we all know was the, mm. um, in 1974. Now, we didn't see it. 1974, yeah. Of course, it was white then, you know, but um, mm. when it was being manufactured and flown, but we didn't see it. didn't come onto the scenes until 91. But isn't there talk about the stealth fighter being a part of the, the UFO? Well, the, but basically, a lot of people, what they're questioning is the actual design and the technology that's involved in the aircraft because it's such a huge leap from sort of the, the, the U-2 bomber yeah. right through to the stealth fighter being on the scene. However, if you really look at the way technology has advanced, we could easily say, well, yeah, we could reach that technology within that time. I mean, we're talking about uh, the stealth fighter being manufactured in 1974 like that. We could be saying, well, you know, surely we may have the capabilities of flying disc objects around. Mm. You know, some people question, whose are they? Don't know. Oh, but the thing is that there, there's a lot of footage, isn't there, of, 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 of US uh, bases actually testing disc flying objects. I mean, didn't we, you, um, Hitler actually have a. He did, yeah. There, yeah. there, there was um, a number of projects on the way by not just Germany, but numerous countries which were looking into anti gravity, different forms of propulsion, um, experimenting with circular aircraft. And you have to think, well, where those theories came from. That was in the 1940s. Yeah, yeah, there's, uh, there's lots of information. Of course, all the yeah. greatest scientists were all taken back to America. All the Nazis, yeah. they all worked for, they all worked for NASA then. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah. But this is the thing that's strange. It, it, it is that kind of, that, that where do things come from? I mean, I, I've, you know, I, I used to uh, do a lot of cartooning. And to get a character takes a certain amount of, you can go back through all of your paperwork and see how that character developed into the final thing. But like with the stealth, uh, the stealth you, you've there isn't that. You, you like you say, you look at the, the beforehand, and then you look at that. You think there's no, there's almost nothing that 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 you could say. Oh, I can see that came from there, and that came from there. Yeah, I think I think there's the technology that we currently know, which is out in the public domain, such as the the shuttle, for an example. I mean, I know for a fact that the car that's not the main aircraft that they're using now. The shuttle's old. It's old news. Mm. The shuttle. And uh, they, they've got other things, but they're not going to be releasing to them for another 20, 30, 40 years. We're not going to see it, but they're using them now, just as they are with the, the stealth fighter. So who knows? We probably have got the capabilities of flying dish-shaped objects around. And the probably parts of the government, which aren't relaying information to other parts of the government, because it's a need-to-know basis and compartmentalization. And, uh, and of course, they say, well, you know, let's, let's have our pilots scramble jets after them then because if we didn't do that then it'd look suspicious they don't want people to look up in the sky and say mm. exotic military aircraft they want us people to shout ufo yeah, because it true. takes the blame straight away from them but what do you say about a lot of people you know they they, they, they can, when they haven't got it seems to me when they haven't got a decent enough excuse they'll throw with the weather balloon thing and i have to admit you know with the weather balloon is is such a great excuse because geese Geese is another one. Geese yeah. is I mean, another one, reflecting say, the light. Well, I, I, I have geese, and I have quite a few of them. And I have to say, at no point have I ever walked out in the morning and thought anyone, anyone <laughs> yeah. of them was a UFO. <laughs> but the, um, 
but it seems like you know the weather balloon thing. I mean, it, it's such an obvious thing that they can throw out because. You know, but when you look at them in the air and they're saying, well, this is a weather balloon, this is what they must have seen. Yeah. No, that's a weather balloon. Why are so many uh, seen over Brazil? Oh, well, that's an interesting question. I well, mean, I'll tell you uh, what, can oh, you stay on to that? Because I just need to go to a break okay. and we'll come straight back and finish that. Um, so join us after the break and we're going to be talking about Brazil.